Welcome back, you whiskey-loving legends, to another episode of Was It Worth It Whiskey? And today, we're going to be exploring the famous grouse. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the original and the smoky black, and try and determine whether, if either of them, or any of them are worthwhile buying, if they're any good, and which one's better, in my opinion, anyway. So without any further ado, let's get started, I think. So pretty much, um, they're basically the same blend, I believe. Except for the Smoky Black contains a, a peated version of Glen Turret, which it actually mentions on the label. Now when you think, um, another thing that, when you think about here, the Smoky Black, um, myself and I'm sure many others have thought, geez, that's going to be a pretty smoky. But um, I don't think it's as smoky as what it implies, a smoky black. So this one first up is the original. And this one on my left is the smoky black. Let's do that so we don't forget. Okay. So on the nose, on the original. I get... um. Uh, a bit of a whack of vanilla. Um, I get a bit of that new solventy alcohol notes. You can clearly tell it's it's quite a young whiskey. Of course, it has to be at least three years of age. I get a, a bit of a honey sweetness as well. A touch of fruit and vanilla. But it's kind of just overwhelmed by that, that solventy, um, alcohol sort of flavours. Alright, the smoky black in comparison. Still get a touch of that, that, uh, that solventy, but it's, maybe it's a bit more phenolic than solventy. I get a, um, a vanilla, citrus. And a very, very light peat, like not what you would expect, expect on something that said um, smoky black. You'd expect a lot of peat, but it's very, very light. It's only, it's only just there, really. All right. So on the original, on the palette. Okay, the palettes, it's pretty watery. I get light malt notes and a slight bit of pepper. Very, or oh, very simple. Um, not complex at all. Maybe there's a little bit of caramel in there as well. Um, but that's about it. And then quite noticeably watery in my mouth feel, I, I think. On the finish, I get there's a light, a light pepper. Um, you get that young, that young warming heat, as you would imagine from a young whiskey. Um, it's kind of the finish. Really, is just nothing. It's super, super short and nothing. Kind of what you'd expect for a, a fourteen pound bottle of whiskey, I guess. On the other hand, the smoky black. Definitely a lot more depth on the smoky black. I mean, you, you do taste that light peat, but once again, it's a, it's a really light peat. It's not a um, it's not a huge peat, but it definitely adds some flavour and some depth to this whiskey. Um, I, I get the citrus citrus notes as well, and some and some um, some caramel. Hmm. Straight away on the palate, I'm much preferring the Smoky Black. Not because of its peat, just because it has more depth and more character to it. On the finish, I get some, um, the finish is very light peat again. Um, I get some more defined sort of oaky spiciness. Um, but once again, the, the finish is quite short as well, even on the Smoky Black. So... 
from a conclusion, um, I definitely prefer the smoky black, that's for sure. But I'm going to give a score out of 100 for the two first. So on the original, I'm going to give a, um, a 74 for the nose, 74 points for the nose. I'm going to give a 73 points for the palette and a 72 points for the finish, giving a grand total of 73 points for the famous grouse original. Now the famous grouse smoky black, I am going to give a 78 points for the nose. I'm going to give a 79 points for the palette because I thought it was much better. And I'm going to give a 76 points for the finish on the smoky black, giving a grand total of 78 points for the smoky black. On a was it worth it score, Obviously, like I said, they're roughly about the same price, especially in the UK. In the UK, you pick between 14 and 18 quid, both of them. Um, in the States and Australia, I do notice a bit of a difference in price. For example, in Australia, you pick this up for about uh, 45 AUD, and this one will be 50 AUD. And the USA, uh, you. You would also, the US, you'd get uh, $24 versus about $32. So there's a bit of a difference in other countries, but not so much in the UK. So on a was it worth it score, I am going to give the original a 4 out of 10. That's a thumbs down, 4 out of 10. Even at 14 quid, I can't see myself buying again. It's not a very nice drink. So thumbs down. Smoky Black, I'm going to give a 6 out of 10. Um, for 14 quid, 14 80 quid, um, it's, it's not a bad little sipper, I guess. And uh, probably if you're into mixing it with Coke or something, I think that peat would actually go quite well in uh, certain mixes, maybe Coke or maybe ginger ale, etc. Anyway. So that is that. That's the two famous grouses. Let me know what you guys think in below. If you've tried them both, which one you guys prefer. And uh, till next time, cheers.